Hey guys, good afternoon. Hopefully everyone's having a good Monday so far. I just left our patch hog store and a customer asked me again. Not that it was the same customer, but it was a customer question. And it was, hey, you have all these meals here. Some say keto, some say low carb, some are, I guess, just portioned and balanced. What meals should I eat to lose weight? And then I realized, wow, you know, this, this is a question that everyone has. And everyone has it because there's so much confusion out there. What is so quickly said because it's popular right now is, hey, you want to lose weight? Don't eat carbs. So when you don't eat carbs, you enter ketosis. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but your body stops burning carbohydrates for energy. And it turns to fat for energy. So it'll burn fat that's on your body uh, for energy it'll burn the ingested fats that you eat for energy. So that just sounds like a win-win and a lot of people go for it because not saying that it's a trap, but a lot of people like that idea. I can eat a bunch of protein. Um, I just, the only catch is I can't eat any carbs. Why not? And for, for those of us who have, so many people have tried it. You know, some people are successful. Most people are not successful. And what happens is you cut out all the carbs over the first few weeks, you lose a lot of weight, 10, 15, 20, up to 30 pounds people lose. And then when you bring carbohydrates back into your diet, the weight flies back on the weight you lost, plus a couple extra. So this is scarring. It scarred me long ago, and it scars people today, and it scarred people 10 years ago, five years ago. And what I mean by that is, it kind of puts in your head that I can't eat carbs. If I eat carbs, I'm gonna gain weight. So I can't eat carbs forever. But the problem is, the people that, that, uh, that I cross paths with, they say, yeah, I have, to, I have to cut carbs to lose weight. When I cut carbs, I lose weight. It's when I eat carbs, I gain weight. And I say, well, hey, how long have you had this idea to, to uh, you know, because right now you're not where you want to be, and here we are all these years later, how long has it been? And I hear things, oh, eight years I've had this information, 12 years. I zigzag, I go up and down, up and down. If the success isn't um, continuous, if it's not, it's just, just my opinion. Success doesn't really go like this for me. Success is, is an elevation or your elevated health. You've increased your health and you kind of, you maintain it or even get better. Not this. So if you're doing like this, because you keep no carbs, then carbs, no carbs, then carbs, it's not a success. So what, what? can give you success for the long run is what I've always said. If we watch, like I said, there's more than one way to lose weight. It's not just cutting carbs and that's how you stay lean. You watch the overall amount of food that you eat. per se The overall amount of food you eat per day and the overall amount of food you eat per sitting. You've heard of portion distortion? Portion distortion happened when our mother or grandparents or whoever fed you, they just Put a bunch of food on your plate, you ate it, and then you ate some more after that because there was more. They say, hey, you want some more? And you keep eating more. Or when we go out to eat, they give us the most amount of food they can for our money. It's a big portion. We paid the money. We don't want to doggy bag it. We're going to eat it all right then and there. So we've lost concept of what a portion is. Food that's portioned properly is balanced. Your, car your uh, carbs, fats, and proteins are balanced, and it's a certain amount of food. And when you're done eating it, you should not feel like you do on Thanksgiving. You should feel like, all right, I could eat a little more, but you know, you're content. You're content. You're content for three to four hours. And what's the significance of three to four hours? Digestion, a cycle of digestion. So you wanna eat every three to four hours, the right amount of food. So when you're eating smaller meals, which is basically the foundation of Healthy Meals Direct, that's, you know, we have a lot of keto meals, we have a lot of low carb meals, but we also have a lot of macro balance meals. So, I mean, you can have it your way, do whatever you want. You know, we don't even give advice like when someone says, hey, what should I eat to lose weight? Like that's like, it's like a, it's a touchy subject. Can't really win. Oh, you should do uh, ketogenic, keto, ketogenic, ketogenic, keto, ketogenic diet. You should go on the Atkins diet. You should do a keto diet. No, you should do, I'm always gonna say the balance, I, I'll tell you what, whatever meals we sell, you eat one of those every three to four hours, don't even think about it. If you eat one of those every three to four hours, you're good. So you wake up at six, get yourself together, eat one at 7 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m., 7 p.m., you're done. 
But, you know, there's a lot of distraction. Hey, we're going to go to, uh, you know, this restaurant later. We're going to do this, that. We're going to go to a buffet. We're going to party. There's going to be food there. You know, you have to you have to remain disciplined in those circumstances. You know, because you have to go there. This is how we socialize. First dates, parties, funerals, weddings. You just have to display some discipline and not keep going and going and going. You know, portion, portion food. Smaller meals, every three to four hours, you won't have an issue. I like to mix it up. I'll have two low-carb meals a day, two balanced meals. Some days I'll have four balanced meals. Some days I'll have four low carb meals some days they'll have four but the, the the common denominator is it's not too much food at one time and it's split up every three to four hours oh one more thing before i go patience get out of your head oh 30 pounds in a month i'm gonna lose 30 pounds in a month as i always say this if you lost a pound a week that's 52 pounds a year if you look back over the years are you gaining weight over the years or are you losing weight over the years if you can lose 52 pounds a year and you gain 20 pounds last year, you're way ahead of the game, right? So, patience. Nothing good comes overnight. Um, enjoy the rest of your day.